Hello guys, Craig Frost here and welcome back to another Juicy Tuts tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can install a custom decal for Rocket League. Um, there's two sites you're going to need. One is this site here. I'll put both of them in the description. This site here is where you can download um, custom decals for Rocket League. And then the other site is this site where you can download a program called UMod, which will allow you to use the custom decals inside Rocket League. So first of all, from UMod, uh, this site even, we're going to download UMod. Now, there are more recent versions, but I found these recent versions cause my game to lag. The version that I use is UMod Alpha V2 R9 49, sorry, zip. So there's three files for each version. I'm going to click this one here. You may find that the more recent ones are fine for you and go for it. But if not, I recommend you use this exact one that you see here from July 15th, 2012. Wow. Um, so I'm going to drag that to my desktop and we'll, we'll uh, right click extract all and that will extract it to the desktop, which is up there. It's got a two under it because I've already done this before. And um, then I can delete the zip. Then we're going to come back to the Rocket League mod site. This will be in the description. And here you can browse for any decals you want to download. You can either on the right side, even on the right hand side here, click to filter by decals and that will refresh the list with only decals. Um, so there's a UPS truck here, or oh, we might install that in a bit. But what I'm going to try and do is install this Team Canada Octane decal. Now the thing that you have to remember is when you download a decal, it's uh, specific for the car that you're downloading it for. So this one will be the Octane and it's for use with the Flames decal. So basically all it's doing is replacing the Flames decal inside Rocket League. So I've downloaded that now. I'm going to drag that to the desktop, right click and extract all. And we can get rid of Chrome now and I can delete the zip folder. So here's the Canada decal that we got and here's the UMod program we got. So we're going to go into UMod just here and there's an application called UMod. So we're going to open that up click run. We can close this behind just to keep things clean. Now in here you need to go to the main menu and first of all click use global hook. Then you need to go to menu again and click add game. And then you need to browse to wherever your Rocket League uh, application is stored. So it'll be within your Steam. It's normally within your program uh, folder and then it'll be Steam, Steam apps, common Rocket League binaries, Win32 and then here so you'll click open and it's already been added because i've done this before but it'll be added and nothing will change until you now open rocket league when we open rocket league you'll notice at the top here we'll get a new tab um, so if i just open up rocket league and we'll keep this here and you'll see see rocket league has just popped in there right now so rocket league is now going to open up and then we'll be able to add our textures to umod um, so we'll just skip through the menu here, add our textures to UMod to um, add them to the game. So it did say that the car it was going to add it onto was an Octane and it was going to replace the Flames decal. So that's what we're going to go for. So we'll have that on screen like that and while Rocket League's open we can just tab back to UMod. And we also actually want to go back to the desktop and open up the Team Canada file that we just downloaded and each decal comes with a load of different files I know for this one what we need to add is these two files here it does tell you everything you need to do in the readme file um, but it's DDS files is what you're looking for so you can just highlight these and drag them in and there you go it's already replaced it with this Canada decal now if this doesn't work for you first time one thing that's worth trying is go into your options and changing your texture detail. If you're on quality, change it to high, or if you're on high, change it to quality. I'll show you why. If I just change this down to quality, now you'll see the decal hasn't worked. So this is a high quality uh, texture. So make sure you have that on high if it doesn't work on quality. But some of them are the other way around, and I'll show you that um, in a second. So in here, what you can do now is you can change the colors. Um, so obviously the blue car looks a bit different. The red car looks how it should, but you can obviously change it up however you like. 
and just customize it this way. So I'll show you what I mean about the textures which don't work with high quality. So if we go and select a different car, so the Merc with the spots like this, and I've downloaded that UPS um, file already. So if we go to my desktop, and I've downloaded this. It comes with loads of files, this one. I don't really know why it's got so many DDS, but I just drag them all into UMod because it can't hurt. So we'll open up UMod and we'll just highlight all of these and drag them in like this. See, it's not updated anything, but if I go to options and this one has to be on quality, there you go. It's now given me the UPS uh, skin. And of course we can then make it look right by coming into our paints and making it, is it a brown color like this? Obviously if you're on the other team it'll look a bit weird because you can't quite get the same, you can't get yellow, but you can get quite close to it. Um, so that's the orange team and that's the blue team color. Um, one thing that's worth pointing out is that the other people online will not be able to see this. This is just replacing your textures locally and the moment you close UMod it will go back to the normal Rocket League skins. No one else online will be able to see this unless they've also replaced their skins with the same skins that you've replaced. Um, hopefully there'll be some sort of workshop uh, support for this in the future. This particular skin has also replaced the country flag of Finland with the UPS um, logo so if we can just find Finland there it is and you can see there's the UPS flag right there and it'll actually match the orange car perfectly well anyway guys there you go I hope you found it useful leave any problems you have in the comments but remember to check that quality setting if you're lagging out try a different version of UMod and just have fun with the decals that are on the store make sure you own the car and the decal that the skin replaces otherwise obviously it won't do anything because for example if I switch to flames here it's not the UPS because it's only replaced dots um, but there you go leave a like if you like this video subscribe if you want to see more I hope you found it useful and I'll see you again next time bye